is said that misfortunes do not come singly. India has been hit by a terrible economic crisis, a pandemic of huge proportion, and now by a full-blown crisis on the borders with China. Much of each crisis is attributed to the, the mismanagement of the BJP Modi government and the wrong policies pursued by it. The altogether effect of all this is widespread misery, fear, and danger to the security and territorial integrity of the country. Now, we have discussed the economic crisis before, a number of times before. Since then, it has become even worse. The Modi government refuses to listen to good advice. The need of the hour is a massive fiscal stimulus, putting money directly in the hands of the poor, protecting and nurturing the MSMEs and stimulating demand. Instead, the government announced a hollow financial package that had a fiscal component of no less than 1% of GDP. The government has added insult to injury by mercil mercilessly raising petrol and diesel prices for 17, it was 16, but today makes it 17 consecutive days at a time when world prices of crude have fallen. The result is that a sliding economy is now hurtling towards a recession for the first time in 42 years. I am afraid that, or at least according to expert economists, there will be high unemployment, falling income and wages, and lower investment. Recovery is likely to take a very long time, and that too only if the government corrects its course and adopts sound economic policy.